Hello everyone, Agent X007. Uh, this time I will show you the limits of 32-bit operating system. This is my uh, test machine, Core i7-980X with 3 gigabytes of RAM. Of course it's, it has a lot more, 12, however only 3 gigabytes are available to it. Motherboard, CPU, and this uh, CPU Z can't detect my GPU, however, that's why we have GPU Z. This is a 3 gigabyte card, so I ha my GPU has more VRAM than my system overall has RAM memory. Most of you probably are shocked that it's, it even works. <laughs> uh, now I will show you how much memory can be used before something goes horribly, horribly bad. So we have crisis over here. I loaded uh, MSI Afterburner. This is uh, this is it. It will show VRAM usage and normal standard RAM usage over here. Of course, this GPU has three gigs of VRAM, so you need a lot <laughs> of resolution and. AA to use it because this is Windows XP and there are really not many games that can you that can uh, use or require more than uh, one or two gigabytes of VRAM. So what I will do is this is 8xq setting. So this is MSAA 8x and not this 8x, the normal, the true MSAA 8x. And other than that, I will go 4K. Um, maybe a bit beyond 4K, because this is 3840 by 2400. However, it will, it will do. Now, I'm doing this, you, can, you could say, um, in quarters. So, this is... Uh, 4K resolution overall, however it's divided in, maybe it's not divided, um, let's say you can only view one quarter of the whole picture, okay? So we have the uppermost part, the lowermost most part, right down, and right up. And this is all uh, 1920 by 1200, so this is my uh, monitor's native resolution. However, uh, you can go in between as well, there's no um, boundaries or anything like that. This is the whole picture that is rendered by uh, GPU, however you can only see 1920 by 1200 pixels of it. Because of this I can uh, use 4K in Windows XP and I can do this uh, with 60 Hz uh, full, full refresh rate of my monitor. So let's go to options first. So system options I already shown. This is 1840 by 2400 with 8xq uh, MSAA. Advanced settings, everything is on high. And I can't go very high because I didn't mod Crisis so that it uses the few effects that may or may not work in Windows XP from the DX10 uh, 
DirectX 10 version. Okay, let's load our level. I use Paradise Lost with the icy problem. Okay, it's loaded. And yeah, as you can see, we have 25. 25.5 let's say two and a half gigabytes of VRAM use uh, and uh, standard RAM is one a, one and a half yeah it's it's around there so in total we are using four gigabytes of memory around now right now four gigabytes that's a lot <laughs> for a 32 bit uh, operating system This is really awkward, but I will try my best. As you can see, I only can use one quarter of the of the screen. So, yes, it is rendered in 4K. However, you can see my uh, my character or uh, gun or anything like that. As you can see, I'm now. Yeah. It's really, really hard <laughs> to play Crisis like this. Um, 26. Okay, now right now, 1500 plus 2600, it's over 4100 megabytes. So, how is this possible if 32-bit Windows can only do uh, 4096 megabytes top max you can't go higher as in 32 bit windows ends with <laughs> uh, 4096 megabytes of ram in total some say well in this case i'm uh, simply using virtual memory because pci express cards only require 256 megabytes per GPU so if you have an SLI configuration it will eat uh, 512 megabytes of your uh, hardware RAM however that's only if you are using 32-bit operating system if you're using 64-bit it's it doesn't have that limitation now oh, I should also add that you can mod Windows XP to use more than uh, than three and a half or four gigabytes of memory because in server Windows Server 2003 uh, you get up to I think 16 gigabytes on 32-bit Windows. However, only on the business uh, version, not uh, the, stand, the standard version. Let's see if we can uh, go higher. System settings. But no, no. Let's do uh, one more thing. So I already shown that we are using uh, a lot of VRAM. Now let's see if GPU-Z catches that as well. Yep, there we go, 27.27. And when we go to Task Manager, we will see we have a viable one and a half gigs of memory so half of it is used right now uh, don't uh, don't be fooled this one this this uh, chart this is for page file so the memory on the hard drive not the actual physical memory you got in uh, ram this is physical memory this right here so let's add 27 27 27 
plus uh, I don't think I have yes there it is so 27 27 plus Fifteen, uh, fifteen uh, thirty-six. I think is uh, the correct value for one and a half gig. Yep, forty-two, sixty-three. So forty-two, sixty-three megabytes of RAM, VRAM plus uh, RAM is used right now. All right. I didn't, I don't know, edited this video so that you ca guys can't uh, see or anything. I will show you again. This is 3063 megabytes of RAM machine. Yes, you can say I'm using the not used memory somehow. I don't know wh how I could do this because uh, Windows can only do 4096 megabytes total. However, as I said, uh, in reality, this is using only 256 megabytes and using virtual memory, it's blown up to three gigabytes total. Now, what will happen when we go higher? So instead of eight, XQ8 we go 16 XQ well let's see there we go 16 XQ is loaded whoa game doesn't look uh, so great right yep there's nothing uh, there's nothing here now what happened is because we are using too much memory on the VG VRAM it goes over the limit and because uh, well, let's say Windows XP doesn't like when uh, 3 gigabytes of VRAM have to be swapped around <laughs> and uh, we get uh, graphical glitches it's either uh, Windows fault or uh, driver itself. Basically, uh, Nvidia doesn't know. Nvidia driver isn't optimized for Windows XP. As you can see, when I go to 8xQ again, everything is okay. So yeah, the highest amount of VRAM and RAM combined you can use on a 32-bit operating system like Windows XP in this case uh, is uh, 3 gigabytes at least in this case if I had uh, I don't know a 960 with uh, 3 gigabytes of VRAM I could go higher I think or uh, GTX Titan that, as, that can go higher still as well because 6 gigabyte of VRAM however I don't know how NVIDIA driver will react to something like something crazy like a Titan in uh, Windows XP so yeah this is what I wanted to show you I hope this will end uh, absolutely uh, stupid threads about the VRAM versus RAM in 32-bit operating system oh my god guys you can have a 3 gigabyte card in the in the 32-bit operating system it works fine as you can see as you could see you can't simply go over its VRAM which is hard this is a Windows XP we are talking about here <laughs> 3 gigabytes of VRAM isn't easy to come by in, uh, in 
in games to use. Okay, that's all for now. Thank you. And see you again next time.